Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is Tech Talk Board series video. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is generative AI and what is AI agent and what is agentic AI. So, difference between these three items we are going to discuss on a high level. You all might have used something called LM. Uh, for example, let's assume you might have used something called ChatGPT. So what will happen ChatGPT? So you will be giving a prompt there. So maybe you will be telling, okay, uh, explain me the flights to travel from Hyderabad to Delhi. Or give me the flight details to travel from Hyderabad to Delhi. When you do that, what ChatGPT does, it will give you all flight details. Okay. So what is happening behind the scenes is, behind the scenes there is a LLM, large language model. That means imagine like it's an intelligence, it's like a brain that can understand your question and give you the details back. So maybe it will tell, okay, 9 a.m. there is a flight, 10 a.m. there is a flight, 11 a.m. there is a flight, something like that. It will give you the details along with the fares, along with the details about like how much price it is. Okay. So assume, so this is what ChatGPT does, right? So basically it is generating a information for you. So not only these kind of informations, uh, generative AI also can generate the uh, presentation files, audio files, images. So basically this intelligence system, the models, the LLMs can generate a various kind of data. It can be a text, it can be a images. So these are all called generative AI. So the AI, which can generate some content for you is called generative AI. It is as simple as that. So the best example is the LLM models, like like maybe GPT-4, GPT-5, or Claude. So many AI systems or AI models you will use it, right? So all these LLMs are called like a generative AIs because they generate some content for you based upon the prompt. So in this example, they have generated the details about the flight, like where I want to book a flight from Hyderabad to Delhi. But if you think about a problem here is, can can they book the flight also? Can they book the flight for you? Then the answer is no. They cannot book the flight for you, right? So they can only give you the details of the flight. They cannot book a flight for you. Why? The answer is LLMs don't have access to the flight booking apps. Flight booking apps, okay? So LLMs don't have access to the flight booking apps, so they cannot go inside the application and book a flight for you. So generative AI uh, is a AI which can give you the details, which can generate the text or images or whatever it is for you, but it cannot perform the task actually. Then, then that's where the AI agent will come. So what AI agent will come do is, so let's take the previous example only. So AI agent can book the tickets also for you. Okay, so can book the tickets also for you. That means it can perform the task of generative AI plus it uh, also booking a ticket. So let's assume what generative AI does for you getting the flight details, right? Flight details, we got it. But it was not able to book the flight. But with the AI agent, with the AI agent, you can book the tickets as well. It can book the tickets also. So AI agent will do all both of these tasks. So both of these tasks can be done by AI agent. Why? Because in AI agent, you will be having a LLM. That means some model, maybe GPT-4 or some 5, 5 or something, plus the task capability as well. That means I, I might have written a code that will go to the uh, booking site and book a flight for you. So when I prompt to AI agent, tell me the Hyderabad to uh, Delhi flight details, it will give the details. Then I will reprompt saying book the ticket. That's where my task what I have implemented that will go to the website and booking the flight ticket will get called automatically autonomously. So a small kind of autonomous decision is there in this uh, AI agents as well. Like it will, when I prompt first time, tell me the details of the flight, it won't uh, perform the uh, function invocation which I have written to book the flights. So it will use the LLM knowledge, it will get the details. But when I say book the ticket, that's where it will invoke the function or it will invoke the task or it will invoke the tool. You can use any word which I have written, which will go to the 
which will goes to the flight booking applications flight booking apps and uh, book the flight for you so this function invocation is having a autonomous decision making here right so here the decision is happening autonomously your a agent will decides when to invoke that particular task or a function or a tool invocation which you have written to book the flights for the prompt one it won't invoke that for the prompt two it will invoke those tools whatever you have written so a small kind of a autonomous decision making is happening here so that's what a agent is so if you want to know about more practical hands on experience about a agents watch my develop a agents playlist you will get a better idea there so generative a is where you will you can get a book uh, flight details basically a generation of the knowledge for you or a text for you that you can consume then a agent means it can go one step further and book the tickets also for you but then what is what is agentic a what is agentic a so agentic a means it is one step further for example in case of a agent it is able to give me the flight details and book the flight for me but it is not able to check my calendar when i am available next month and accordingly book the flight it won't do that but in case of a agent what will happen it will check my calendar automatically it will check my calendar automatically and then it will find the details of the flights accordingly and then it will book the flight also for me immediately so a agent uh, basically if you think about uh, it's like a group of a agents working together and accomplish a big task so that's that's what called agentic agentic a so if you think about it llm is involved here to get the details about the flight some a agent is involved here to get my calendar details to get my calendar details and another a agent may be involved here that will book the flight tickets for me accordingly so if you think if you look this whole scenario it's not only a one small task there there is more than one small task getting involved here with multiple agents and they are all working towards one big common goal where it has to check my calendar automatically and it has to decide okay maybe i am free in the december month let's go ahead and book the trip plan for the delhi then it will go and get the details about the flights for the delhi in december month and then it will book the tickets also for me so agentic a is a system where a more autonomous so, so it is not waiting for me to tell okay book book in a delhi Ah, uh, so and uh, sorry, book for the December month. So it is checking my calendar automatically, and it is finding there is a time in the December which I can plan for my travel, and then getting the pra travel details using the generative AI here, and then booking the tickets there using the AI agent here. So LLM plus more than one AI agent uh, all working together for a big task to complete with more autonomous decision making. that is well called agentic a in simple words you can say that more than one a agent involved there and uh, all the agents are working on a small small task this small small task can tie up to a big task if you can call this whole system then you can call it like a agentic a so agentic a is a system where more than one a agent will be working with all with a big to achieve a big task to be achieved okay so a agent is a small program that will work for one goal to accomplish that goal but agentic a is a big system where multiple agents will come together to achieve or to 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 make sure that big task completed okay so i think that is clear so to to recap quickly agentic a is the a where you can only get the uh, generative text or generative images based upon the prompt you asked for example get me the flight details it will get you the details that's it now a agent is going one step further it will not only get the flight details it will book the flight also for you so it will perform some task for you that is called a agent now agentic a means more than one a agent uh, every, uh, it's a big system where multiple a agents were there and every aj agent is working on a small task and when you combine all these small task it will achieve a big task for example uh, maybe checking the calendar also when i am free and accordingly getting the flight details and accordingly booking the flight so that is called agentic ai so i hope this clears the difference between generative ai ai agent and agentic ai thank you for watching have a nice day